Hello, welcome back. In this video, we'll discuss the quantum confinement. Before understanding what quantum confinement is, we shall briefly look at the way the materials have been classified. Materials are classified into bulk materials and low dimensional materials. A bulk material is a three dimensional structure in which there is no confinement along any direction meaning the material extends its dimensions along the three directions x y and z to a great distances when compared to the exciton bore radius what is the bore radius bore radius is 5.29 into 10 power minus 11 meters and what is an exciton exciton is a bound state of an electron and a hole in the valency band of a non-metallic crystal. A particle in a bulk material will be free to move along the three dimensions that is x, y and z directions. Along these three dimensions the particle will be free to move throughout the volume of the material. Since the electron is moving in a very large material no quantization of the particle motion occurs. As a result, the particle will have continuous range of energies. Since it is a continuous range, we can have a minima and a maxima for the energies. Now we shall discuss the low dimensional materials. The low dimensional materials are those nanostructures that are confined about one or more of the dimensions of the material. The low dimensional materials are further classified into quantum wells, quantum wires and thirdly quantum dots. These three materials they have one or more than one confinement along respective dimensions. We shall look at these three different low dimensional materials one by one. The low dimensional structures are classified on the basis of number of reduced dimensions they possess. The dimensionality refers to the number of degrees of freedom possessed by the particle. The low dimensional structures on the basis of dimensionality are classified into these three quantum wells, quantum wires and quantum dots. The quantum wells. A quantum well is a two-dimensional nanostructure in which there is confinement along one direction and a particle is free to move in other two directions that is in the xy plane. Since it is confined along one particular direction, the particle possesses discrete energies associated with the confinement dimension. Particle energies are continuous along the other two dimensions. We have a huge slab in the form of a cube. In this, we have a small region that is confined along the z direction. In this, this is the x direction, that is the y direction and this is the z direction. The specimen is confined along the z direction, meaning we have a potential barrier above the confinement area and below the confinement area and within the confinement area we have a minimal potential or it is like a one dimensional potential well. Since the particle is confined along the z direction, we will have discrete energy levels for the particle along the z direction. As there is no confinement along the x and y directions, as a result, along the x direction and along the y direction, we will have the continuous energies for the particle. It is a two dimensional nanostructure in which there is confinement along one direction and a particle is free to move in other directions. Particle possesses discrete energy levels associated with the confinement dimension in the present case that is the z direction or the z axis and particle energies are continuous along the other two dimensions in this case x and y or it is the xy plane confinement is happening along one direction as a result the particle will have discrete energy levels associated with that particular dimension and the particle will have 
continuous energy levels along the other two dimension that is x and y and these type of uh, structures are known as quantum wells or ultra thin films next we'll discuss the quantum wires 2d confinement it's a one dimensional nano structure in which there is confinement along two directions the particle is free to move in the third direction particle has discrete energies associated with these two directions of confinement and continuous along the third that is unconfined direction if you take the coordinate system like this x and y and z the confinement is along the z direction and x direction and there is no confinement along the y direction so this structure can go uninterrupted along the y direction that is the reason why we call it as a wire and in this since confinement is happening along the two directions we'll have discrete energy levels associated with these two dimensions and the particles can move freely along the y direction its energies are continuous along the y direction the confinement should be comparable with that of the exciton bore radius a quantum wire it is a one dimensional nano structure in which there is confinement along two directions and particle is free to move along the third direction in this case it is y direction or the y axis particle has discrete energies associated with these two directions of confinement and continuous energies along the third or y axis direction in this case the particle will be confined along the x and z directions and there is no confinement along the y direction as a result we'll have a quantum wire this kind of a nano structure is called as a quantum wire since there is no confinement along the y direction along the y direction the particle is free to move and we'll have continuous energies associated with the y direction whereas we'll have discrete energy levels associated with the two dimensions of confinement that is x and z in this case now we shall discuss the quantum dot for short also called as q dot this is an extreme case in which confinement of the particle occurs in all three directions and this results in zero dimensional nano structure called quantum dot so confinement along all directions resulting in a zero dimensional nano structure called the q dot or quantum dot since the particle is confined along the three directions that is along the x y and z the particle will possess discrete energy levels associated with these three directions and in this nano structure we have confinement in all three directions hence this results in a zero dimensional nano structure that is the reason why we call it as quantum dot having seen the low dimensional materials now we shall see the quantum confinement in a small nano crystal the electronic energy levels are not continuous as in the bulk materials but are discrete because of the confinement of the electronic wave functions to the physical dimensions of the structure this phenomena is called as quantum confinement therefore nano crystals are also referred to as quantum dots for a semiconductor particle quantum confinement occurs when the nano crystal radius becomes comparable to the exciton bore radius the confinement leads to a transition from continuous to discrete energy levels the importance of quantum confinement is that the confinement leads to a transition from continuous to discrete energy levels when the materials are so small that they lie in one quantum confinement regime then their electronic and optical properties deviate substantially from those of the bulk materials the quantum confinement essentially gives us a deviation in the electronic and optical properties of the materials when compared with their bulk form of the material the discrete structure of the energy levels leads to a discrete absorption and emission spectrum for the quantum nanostructures here in this table we are giving the quantum structures 
confinement dimensions delocalization dimensions for a bulk conductor or for a bulk material the confinement dimensions are zero meaning it is not confined along any one of those dimensions delocalization dimensions are three that is x y and z for a quantum well which is also called as a super lattice will have one dimensional confinement in the examples that we have seen it is along the z direction in the delocalization dimensions are x and y that is two dimensional delocalization will be there in quantum wells in the case of quantum wire it is two dimensional confinement along x and y it is confined or it is two dimensional confinement one dimensional delocalization for instance it could be a z direction a quantum dot or a nano crystal will have three dimensional confinement and a zero dimensional delocalization the nano structures can be understood using certain representations a quantum well can be represented using a particle in a one dimensional box a quantum wire can be represented using a particle in a two dimensional box a quantum dot can be represented using a particle in a three dimensional box in this video we have started our discussion with bulk materials and we have said that bulk materials are those three dimensional structures in which there is no confinement along any direction we have seen what is an exciton and bohr radius after that we have discussed the low dimensional materials we have said that there can be three different low dimensional materials possible the quantum wells quantum wires quantum dots we have discussed the quantum wells we have said it is a two dimensional nano structure in which there is confinement along one direction and the particle is free to move in the other two directions particle possesses discrete energy levels associated with the confinement direction that is z axis and the particle possesses energies that are continuous along the other two dimensions that is x and y we have seen the quantum wires we have said that it is a one dimensional nano structure in which there is a confinement along two directions and the particle is free to move along the third direction that is the y direction in this case particle has discrete energy levels associated with the two directions of confinement and continuous energy levels along the third that is the y direction after that we have seen the quantum dots we have said it is the confinement along all directions resulting in a zero dimensional nano structure which is called the q dot or quantum dot we have seen what quantum confinement is the confinement leads to transition from continuous to discrete energy levels we have seen the quantum structure confinement dimensions delocalization dimensions corresponding to the quantum wells wires bulk materials and quantum dots we have seen the nano structures and their representation thank you